Okay, now let's move on to Grains Vellum, which is the output of our Autodop network. So you got an import geometry here, which brings in the whole lot. And then um, it's just a bunch of node that was created when we used the shelf tool originally. So what I'm going to do is in between the remove normals and import geometry, I'm going to put in a delete node and I'm going to delete everything but the carpet. So, okay, that's good. Hmm. That's bizarre. Oh, points. Okay. There you go. We get rid of that and get rid of the vellum object one and sphere okay so we've got this that's good next thing i want to do is i want to delete this color it was only for visualization purposes so i'm gonna attribute delete and point attribute that's good Okay, now I'm gonna put in a time shift and delete this channel so it stays in frame one. So no matter what happens above that, it's gonna stay in frame one. And then I'm gonna put in a UV texture. For points, we need to extract the UV texture and we're gonna extract it from a, an image file. Okay, so for the UV texture, we're going to check on fix boundary seams and change the attribute class to point. And I think the projection axis and texture type are okay. I'm going to create a point blob and connect the first input to here and second to here. And let's dive in. Okay, I'm going to move this here and type in, well, bring in import point attribute node and connect the ptnum to ptnum and op input 2 to file. And I will export this using a bind export and I will call this uv and change the type to three floats vector okay and the result goes into the input of this bind here an import point i want to change the attribute that i want to import to uv and that's about it let me put in an attribute map sorry attribute from map and i will choose Ah, it's already showing up here, as you can see, which is good. Um, but I want to choose the leopard thing or the animal fur, however you want to call it. So if you select HFS Houdini pick texture, which is a default folder, which is in the favorite location, go one up. And if you scroll down, you will see it somewhere here. There you go. Leopard fur dot RAT. Cool. There it is. Isn't that sweet? Fantastic. Okay. So in filter settings, nothing to change. Image settings, um, uh, nothing to change here, to be honest. Texture channel. I want to bring in color. Okay. That's good. I want to maybe try and rotate this 90 degrees. There you go. And I want to go into filter settings, maybe change the wrap to decal and change this to white. To be honest, I don't know what difference it makes. You can leave it at streak and try it out, I guess. But that's what I had uh, in my project. Okay, so I'm going to set that up. Okay, so I'm going to move on and go back out. And use, let's see here, vellum. Yes. So if you go into grains tab, I'm going to click on upres sand and then select our item and press return. 
And this is going to oppress our item by adding more points. Okay, so if I go back into Grange Vellum, it's added four nodes for us. Create Orient, Duplicate Points, um, Set Seed to adjust the P-Scale, and then the color. We're just going to disable the color or bypass the color because we don't need that. With Duplicate Points, I just want to check it out. So it's 10 points per point. So every point will get 10 points on top, all right? And then in shape, everything is set up correctly the way I want, to be honest. So nothing to change there. So before and after. It looks much denser, as you can see. All right, so I'm gonna run this and I'll come back to you. Okay, the sim is done and I simmed around about 80 frames. Let's have a look at this. I think that looks pretty cool. All right, we will move on to the next chapter.